If you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn how to take good pictures in iRacing. Now that's lucky because that's exactly what we're covering in this video. My name is Marcus and I've been taking pictures in iRacing for years, mainly as a hobby, but over the years I've become pretty good at it. Firstly, we'll talk about what programs you need and what softwares that you can use to enhance your pictures. And then we'll be talking about how you can improve your photo technique as well as your editing. Let's jump into it. The first software I would highly recommend for taking good pictures is called iRacing Screenshot Tool. I use this program for for all my pictures as it's able to upscale your pictures from your normal 1080 or 1440p screen to a 4k or even an 8k picture on top of that it will remove the iRacing watermark at the bottom of the screen if you just uh, minimize the ui by pressing control page down now you can get your hands on this software by joining the discord server i'll leave a link in the description it is highly recommended second of all you're going to need an editing program or a color grading program iRacing space look is a lot of times a bit washed or a bit off color so you want to be able to adjust that and enhance your pictures with an editing program and for this there's actually a lot of different softwares you can use free programs on your pc like gimp to do this i know even nowadays on instagram or facebook wherever you post your pictures there's even like a built-in uh, color grading thing it's just the very basics of it now personally i use adobe lightroom i think this is the best color grading software out there on the market right now in lightroom there is everything that you could ever need to enhance your pictures so if you're really looking to take some incredibly dope eye racing pictures and you're looking for a long term then i would highly recommend to get your hands on adobe lightroom and if you don't have money for the full pc version i know they have a phone version which is like five bucks a month and it still has a whole lot more features than what you get on instagram or something now to take good pictures in game there are a couple of things that you need to get straight but before that i just want to remind you that you can get 5% off all Azitech products by using my link in the description or the promo code Suham at checkout. This will save you a lovely little bit of money. Now let me show you how to take good pictures in game. Now to take good pictures, there are a couple of things that you need to get straight. Let's start off by talking about what you need to do in game. By pressing Control F12 on your keyboard, you can pull up a camera movement menu. Now this is incredibly vital for moving around your camera and getting those sort of unique and special angles of your car that you see in most good pictures. To move the camera around, you can use the adjustment sliders at the top of the menu, or you can use WAS to move the camera around you can use control WASD to adjust uh, where the camera is looking and you can use shift WASD to adjust the yaw and the pitch and stuff like that now the only advice I have for learning this is to just mess around with it now the more you mess around with it the better you'll become at it and at a point it's, it's so it'll sort of become automatic how to sort of find a good angle in the game as for framing there are multiple different ways that you can get good framing in your pictures this is a bit different from photographer to photographer some people like to just center their car and have it be the middle point of the picture and I would like having them a bit more on the side or a bit more angled like it. A basic rule that you can use is the rule of thirds. Now, this is basically some lines that splits the picture into thirds. You all know these, you've all seen them on cameras before, but basically to take a good picture with the rule of thirds, you can either have it in the center of the picture or you can aim to have it on one of the spots where the lines cross. For some reason or another, this is an incredibly appealing spot in a picture for the human eye. It's incredibly easy to draw the eye and the attention to one of these spots in the picture. So consider putting your subject of the picture in one of these spots. On top of this, you can use fences or bushes or trees or whatever to get something in the foreground of your picture. Now this can be hard to get right, but it can make your picture stand out and be that bit more unique. On top of that, it can make it look a bit more realistic that it's been taken from the sidelines instead of maybe right in front of the car when in real life you would have been rammed down with 300 kilometers an hour. Now, Lastly, you might be wondering what to run your Aries and graphics settings on. I'm just going to throw mine up on screen so you can see them. This is what I use to take the pictures. I would not recommend running these settings for a race as they do take a lot of frames, but they make the game look absolutely amazing. So once you've messed around with this or gotten the result you're happy with, pop over to the iRacing screenshot tool and take your screenshot. After this, you can launch into your editing program and this is where the fun really begins. This is where you make your pictures go from looking like iRacing to looking closer and closer to real life. Now, there are a lot of different ways that people like editing their pictures and none of them are necessarily wrong or right. It is just how the photographer might prefer to take his or her picture. However, there are still some basics that you want to get right if you want to make your picture more realistic looking. And that is what we'll be covering now. But before that, if you're finding this video useful, scrolling down a little bit and subscribing to the channel would be picturesque. Now, the editing of your picture is where you make it go from looking like this to looking like this. Or from this 
to looking like this. Editing is what makes your picture stand out, it's what makes it unique, and it's what makes it really good looking. First of all, you want to get your basics right, and in iRacing, the most important thing is probably the white balance. iRacing is typically a bit more yellow in its hue than what we would perceive in real life, and this means that in most cases, you should make your picture a bit colder. Now remember that first we want to get our picture to a certain standard through white balance and color adjustments, and then after that we can start applying our own artistic twist. Now after you've adjusted the temperature and your white balance to look right, either through manually doing it or through the automatic function that a lot of, a lot of apps have nowadays, uh, then you can start playing around, but just make sure that it looks realistic and that it doesn't look too green or too yellow or too purple or anything like it. Make sure that it looks bad. Now this is where you can start playing around and one of my personal favorite ways of editing a picture is trying to make it look as realistic as possible. This typically comes with adjustments of contrast, typically increasing a little bit so you don't get that washed out look. Uh, a slight decrease maybe in the brightness helps out a bit as well. Now messing around with the colors is probably not something you want to do too much if you want to get a realistic look, at least not after the, you've sort of gotten the initial white balance correct. You certainly don't want to increase the saturation or something like it way too much, that'll just make it look way too colorful and way too unrealistic. A big mistake that I see a lot of photographers make, not just in our racing, but in real life as well, is that uh, a lot of them tend to over edit their pictures. And you know, it is not hard to spot when a picture is over edited. You can see these pictures here on screen, they are slightly over edited, but you know exactly which one I'll be talking about when I mean that it's over edited. It sounds easy to not do it, but when you're in this zone and you're sort of editing the pictures, and you're just adjusting a bunch of stuff, you know, over editing is actually not that hard of a trap to fall into. Typically what works for me is just leaving the pictures for an hour or two, maybe overnight or something, and then coming back to it because then you're back with a fresh mind and you can sort of see, all right, I've actually over edited this picture, I've under edited this picture, uh, let me just redo it quickly. Another thing that will help out a lot is asking for advice. Now I've got my own Discord server with a pictures channel where you can post your pictures and we can have a chat about how you can improve on them and all that sort of stuff. So make sure to join that if you haven't already, there's a link in the description. Now, before we do end off the video, I have some super exciting news. I've joined Overtake GG as a content creator which means that you'll be seeing my face over on my channel as well. In fact, my first video is already up there where I show you how you can get better at making setups, the five great setup tips for iRacing beginner. So make sure to go watch that. Make sure to go support that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you found this video useful. I hope you'll be taking some epic pictures. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. I've been Marcus and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.